Well, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, man. Today it is currently 102 degrees in Dallas, Texas, 3 in the afternoon. I mean, it is the midday hustle. We're going to try and get out and catch some fish today with some friends. I hopped into a little Instagram group I'm a part of with about 25 different anglers around the DFW area. I hit them up, told them I'm hitting a new spot I've never fished before. The place looks so scenic. It is a, uh, a little creek with some waterfalls. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. I might throw some just finesse gear today. Potentially some new baits you guys have never seen. I might throw some crappie rigs down here just to see if we can even link up with some fish, but I actually cross-checked with the Fish Brain app and it shows that there is bass caught right out of this spot too. So we're gonna see if we can't get on some of these fish, even though it is blazing hot. And yeah, we definitely got some friends joining us, man. So stick around, stay tuned. We might do a little bit of hopping around the city, having a bunch of fun. Let's go ahead and get rigged up. So I've got the two spinning combos. And I'm going to rig up a little crappie rig. Check that out. Just got some little crappie tubes. This is refrigerator white and some 16th ounce jig heads. And then I've got some lunker logs. The water looks very stained here. So this is the black red flake. It should be able to stand out the five inch size. That way I might find some more fish that'll uh, strike it instead of the larger size. And I'm just gonna do a weighted wacky rig setup. So I'm just gonna tie the hook, plop that worm on there. And I'm gonna put this nail weight into the head of the worm. That way I can just sink down a little bit faster. So that's gonna be our two setups we're rocking to get things started. Just trying to fish new waters and have a little bit of fun with the friends. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, Smith? yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Dope, man. You fishing today? Uh, no, I just got playing some golf, but uh... Really? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Have you ever fished this place here? Uh, I do. It doesn't have that great of fishing. I, I mean, figured as much. I just, you know, yeah. give it a shot and see yeah. if I can get something on the hook. Yeah. I got like some crappie setups. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was... I didn't really hang around too many friends with boats. Like, I rarely got on a boat before we bought ours. Like, yeah, it was just so knew we didn't know what we were doing oh i don't think i did that right oh no i'm pretty sure i'm supposed to put the tube in the oh but i never use tubes and i'm pretty sure you put this thing in there first i messed that up ryan just showed up y'all <laughs> all right yeah. well it's nice meeting you yeah, yeah nice to meet you too i'll see you guys around y'all right have a good one hey wish us luck man in this 100 degree heat <laughs> dude I can shade, I can fish in this. <laughs> Charles is talking about the shade we got right now. This is nice. All right, man. We about to check out this hidden waterfall spot that I found on. Uh, it was on Google, but it came up at like Pinterest. Someone had the most beautiful looking shot of this place. We about to see. Uh, today is probably out the fifteenth. That's a wacky rig hook. Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't look just like the photo. They're bluegill, I think. Yeah. There's that. There's one big one though. Two big ones though. Really, dude. If I get these first. Oh my gosh. Get in there. Get in. Oh. Oh, you know you're about to get, oh my gosh. Problem is it's too big for them though, they can't hang. Dude, you did get, so, they all went for it. Wait till I toss this in there. What is that? That's not even a bass though. Oh, it's okay. First cast, little tube. Get in there, get in there, get in there. It's a little carp. He's coming. Rawr. This is funny. We gonna get a bluegill. Oh. Did you see him? All right, let's see what's going on, man. My GoPro is already overheating. That's how hot it is. Oh, I see him. They came over so fast. I just had one eat it. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, son. Yo, okay. I'm gonna go down there and get him because he's, oh, oh, he's already, oh God, he's already flopping around. Oh my gosh, I don't want to hurt him. Okay, it's, it's too bad. We got him, boys. We got him. First fish on the tube. Oh, he is so football fat, y'all. He's been eating a lot of tubes. Just today he got the wrong one. <laughs> there we go, man. The tube strikes. We'll see, you, bud. Where? He he ate he ate you. He had, he had it, dude. What? There is a bass in there. I'm gonna come over here to the shade, see if my GoPro will stay alive. Oh wow, there's a lot of fish right here. Oh dude, here's like a one pounder. Dude, this guy's almost a pound. Look. Oh, he's looking. Got a bass looking. I mean the bass are here. Don't worry. I got a little I got a little something for him too. Here we go. Oh, that bass is, he's, he's looking hungry. He's looking hungry. He got it, he got it. Oh, we got the bass, we got the bass. And that's the tiny one, dude. The big one's still in here. <laughs> okay. First cast with the wacky, with the weighted wacky rig. Oh, putting them to shame. All right. <laughs> All right then, thank you, sir. 
Uh, try not to eat too many more lunker logs. See ya. Bite it, god damn it, bite it! Still not not a dead idea. Oh, I'm the bassest in the room. Papa who? Papa what? Papa frog? I caught me a, caught me an angler. Pop them mofos. Well, I don't know, man. Pinterest made this spot look a lot better. We out of here. What y'all think about the damn Bilzerian news? How his lifestyle is fake. Everything's fake. <laughs> he rents everything. Everybody rents, dude. Some of the wealthiest people rent their houses. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's got to own the house. <laughs> what do y'all think about the damn Bilzerian drama? I think a lot. I think a lot of influencers are just trying to jump on making fun of him, use his name. To, they're trying to grow their podcast and stuff. But I could be. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Dan Bilzerian's the talk of the town. That and WAP or WAP. Oh, I know you're talking. Yeah, about wine that. and pizza, bro. Broke oh. the internet. <laughs> Cardi who? <laughs> WAP. Fish no wet ass ponds. <laughs> yeah, whopping and a plopping. <laughs> yeah, we got all kinds of new meanings to the song WAP. Whopping and a plopping. Uh, anybody who comes in from that parking lot is trespassing. Oh. Yeah, nobody who lived here would park in that parking lot. I've fished closest, this spot before. I don't know if I ran into you or somebody else, but they were just, uh, they were cool with us fishing it. Yeah, that's the closest parking spot. We're not hiding from <laughs> Yeah, we don't care. We, we, got, we got we got other spots park. around here. I just figured we'd come back to this one. But thank you for being kind. Y'all, we just made it to the third location. The second spot was a total bust. We literally got yelled at and kicked out right as we walked up. Homie was not having it. He said, you walked in from the parking lot. We know you don't live here. You are trespassing. And so we said, oh, that's our apologies. We'll split. Made it to a spot right down the street, man. We use the Fish Brain app to find the spot. You guys know we use the Fish Brain app left and right when we are venturing to new areas of town, trying to find the juiciest of honey holes. I just had a bite, but I think it was a bluegill. He's swimming with it. Oh my God, it was probably a bluegill because he didn't have the hook. Bet you he didn't even have the whole worm in his mouth, y'all. Where's the bass at? And anyways, yeah, we found this spot using Fish Brain app. We're gonna see if we can't get us some fish, huh? Currently dropping down to finesse, y'all. We got a one-aught hook from Carl's. We've also got a black and red flake five-inch lunker log. Trying to get it done out here at the new location. Sankos, you know they're going to get it done east coast to west coast. There we go. That's the spot. Ever use the nail weights? I was going to say, I just did that at the last spot. You want to use one? Let's do it, man. Because it'll, it'll sink that bait lab. I'm going to do the same thing. All right, there we go, man. Another nail weight in the lunker log five-inch just to get some sink. What a shot, boys, what a shot. If it's inside, it's a mouse. Yeah, right. <laughs> Goes outside, it's a rat. Right. <laughs> if it's in the house, is it a mouse? This is a mice. How do you wake up dead? <laughs> yeah. All right, man, we have just pulled up to the third spot. This place is looking pretty sweet. There might actually be some big fish in here. We're taking out the, the big rigs. Over it honestly might not be any better access. Dang, bamboo. Yeah, if you don't throw a frog, I don't really know what you're throwing. Yeah, man, the grass pretty much goes all the way up to the surface, but I cast it all the way across where it looks like there's a little bit of an opening throwing the popping frog, the new Guggen Squad popping frog. This is nuts though, man. It's like an abandoned office building. There's like old stuff in the offices here. Nothing but cobwebs out back. Crazy, man. You'd think it'd be some good fishing, but there's just so much grass. It's tough, tough to say. I'm gonna try and get across this place again with the frog. Zing! Oh! I went over the fence. All right, y'all, we're dipping down to the abandoned spot. Charles and Ryan are taking off. I think they're leaving me to fend for myself. I'm gonna have to hit the fish brain app and see if I can't find one more spot for you guys. Let's get after them. All right, let's see what we have here. Somebody's rocking our same boat, man. I've yet to fish this before. A lot of grass. I'm gonna throw the frog. Oh, okay. Well, first cast. I was not ready for that. I actually set the hook too fast. Here's a nice deep little pocket. Might be some bass in here. Place is looking pretty good, man. I need to come back to this spot, give it some time. A nice little swim jig through this would actually probably get the job done. All the perfect frog spots, man. They look so good. Here we go, look at this. Little current. Fish just gotta be waiting on something to fall down in here. Wrong again. The frog is just about the only thing I can throw here. Let's see if there's anything up top. I think I've hit four different ponds in here, guys. This might be the end of the road. Oh, grass, oh no. There we go. Oh, I thought I had a fish right there. 
Man, I just hit the drains in the back corner. I have worked this whole place. I figured the frog was not a bad option given all the grass here, but also the fact that I got hit on the first cast. Literally as soon as I got here and then on the weightless worm, I mean, I could have brought the whole tackle box at this spot, but I figured with these two, I could have them dialed in and uh, not even the worm was hitting, man. So surprising, a smaller five inch lunker log. I mean, everything should be hitting that. I did get a bite from a bluegill, but no bass. So I'm gonna have to come back to this spot on a day when the bite's on fire. I'm sure we can link up with something. I think the next best bet would probably be like a fluke, maybe a swim jig cruising through some of the grass, but I just can't imagine why they wouldn't have hit that lunker log again. So. I'll meet you guys over back at the truck. I just got another quarter mile walk till we get there. All right, man, that wraps up a tough day of fishing. Last I saw in the truck, it was 105 degrees. My GoPro was overheating even in the shade, <laughs> but we tried to make it happen. I was throwing the frog thinking I could get some bass out of the uh, shade. I was also throwing the worm thinking, okay, even if it's an off day, I should be getting bites on this. And you saw, we only pulled a couple little ones out today. It happens, but honestly, we were trying new spots, fishing creeks, and uh, a few of those places were not the most ideal. We'll go back to some heavy hitting spots soon. I actually think those big bass and these ponds right here, I think they're just a little turned off today. I'm sure I could have gotten them to bite on something else, but I didn't want to bring too much. I am wore out to be quite honest. I didn't want to bring the tackle backpack and be switching stuff up. I just want to kind of get in, get out. I figured with that top water hit and the first cast, the frog would be on. And if not, I could get them on the worm. Was incorrect, but anyways, guys, learn something new every day and we're gonna try and hit him again tomorrow. So we'll see you then, peace. <gasps>